I have experience. I have seniority. I served three terms previously in the Texas House of Representatives before my defeat in 2010. And I felt like I, there was a lot of things that I left unaccomplished. And I believe with my experience and my seniority and my term served that I'm the best qualified person for this job. Most of the oil and gas companies that uh, testified before the committee, and I was on the Energy Resource Committee for three terms, uh, were asking uh, for more funding for the Railroad Commission because they are the good operators. Of course, there's always some bad operators out there, but those guys you can you can never catch, you can never regulate, but the vast majority of the oil and gas companies that I dealt with and that testified before my committee were good stewards and good operators. Well, obviously, we, we need to work with our local uh, school board members and our local officials to provide our children with the, the tools that they need and to provide the teachers with the funding and the tools they need so they can do their job and get away from all this overemphasis on standardized testing and the overtesting. The number one complaint that I hear from my school board members and my teachers is we're teaching a test and we're not teaching the children to read, write, and to do math. And so what we need to do is, I'm glad they gave the extension to Premont Independent School District because I, I don't want those kids to be rerouted, you know, whether it's 20, 30, 45 miles away from their homes. I think that makes it very difficult for the parents and the children to get a good quality education if they spend so much time on a school bus. I think we need to work with the local school board members uh, to make sure that uh, we have viable solutions and options to keep those uh, independent school districts open. I